This video, I'm going to show you how to set up the best team in College Football 25 for the most amount of success. This is a depth chart setup for Texas. If you're playing any kind of comp game mode, they're probably going to be on regs. If you're playing road to college football playoff, I think Texas is the best team. And you can kind of use this depth chart as a blueprint for what you're looking for and whatever team you want and how you're going to build your ultimate team. So we're going to start by auto reordering the depth chart. And if you want to get my full offensive and defensive ebooks that I recommend to fully optimize this roster, it's available in my school community. It's only $10 to sign up for the school community, and it gets you access to all of my college football and Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates and exclusive stuff that we have in there just for community members. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description. We're going to start by auto and reordering. And then I want to talk about these two, back, uh, these two running backs, CJ Baxter and Jaden Blue. Both of these running backs are really good. They're very similar. One's just a little faster, so we're going to put Blue as the starter. The reason these running backs are good, though, is not just their speed, but also if you look at their physical attributes, they have the sidestep ability. That sidestep ability is going to make it so that they get really good juke moves, and they're going to be able to make defenders miss in the open field. I don't really use a fullback for this scheme, but in case, uh, just for the purposes of kind of what we're talking about, I'm actually just going to throw C.J. Baxter at the starting fullback position. At wide receiver, this is where we do want to make some adjustments. They have this receiver, Isaiah Bond. He's by far, in my opinion, one of the best players in the entire game. And we're actually going to play him on both sides of the ball. So we're going to move him to the number one receiving spot. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to um, put this guy, Ryan Wingo. We're going to put him at the number two receiving spot. And then a couple different options here at your slot receiver. So I really like uh, Silas Bolden or... or um, Silas Bolden or Matthew Golden. This guy right here, though, John, John Tay Cook, the reason he's good, even though he's two speeds slower, he has the shifty ability and the takeoff ability, which allows him to get off the press a little bit more. This guy, Ryan Nibble, it's a little faster. It's kind of up to you in terms of what you want to do at this specific position. But what I'm going to do for the purposes of kind of what I've been doing is put Bolden here. But I do think that this guy, Cook, is actually really good. At the tight end spot, this guy is really good. Amari Nick N Black, uh, really good tight end. Big, big, tall frame, big body, 86 speed, going to get the job done. Really no adjustments needed on the offensive line from what I'm seeing. Um, pocket shield is a great ability. You want to have you know, someone with something like that, and it's going to help a lot with your pass protection. As you see here, the right tackle doesn't have any abilities. So I actually am going to put this guy at the, the backup right tackle, in my opinion, is better just because he has more abilities. Again, that's, you know, maybe placebo, but I just think he plays a little better. And defense, this is where things are going to get really, really fun and really, really cool. So in my opinion, the best player on the team and the reason you want to use Texas is this player, Trey Moore. He's a left end, which is really important. And he gets this, uh, these two abilities that I want to touch on, pocket disruptor, dure well, duress is also really good, duress, quick jump, and pocket disruptor. Duress is going to be more like that under pressure. Pocket disruptor just means going to be able to shed, get good sheds for you from what I understand. The main ability we want to touch on here is quick jump. Quick jump is the best ability on defense in the game, and I would argue it's the best ability in the entire game because it, if you have quick jump, every single defense in the game gets infinitely better. If you do not have quick jump, every single defense in the game gets infinitely worse. And it can literally be the difference in having one of the best blitzes in the entire game and that blitz suddenly becoming one of the worst blitzes in the entire game because you do not have quick jump. So I really advise getting as many of these players on your field as you possibly can. And what makes Trey Moore so important to this defense is that he gets it and he's a left end, which means we're going to be able to put him at defensive tackle. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put this guy, Colin Simmons, at the starting left end position. And I want to kind of talk about an underrated player on this team, and that is Zena Imuazulu, or however you say that name. I actually think this guy might be better than Simmons because he has a better version of quick jump. But in general, either one of these guys will be fine for you. And notice that they are also fast, 84, 82 speed, 91, 90 excel. These are the two players that I would recommend at this left end position because what we're going to do is a defensive tackle, we are going to put Trey Moore at the starting defensive tackle. Then we are also going to put, if we ever go into a four down lineman set, we're going to put this guy Zena Umozulu at the backup defensive tackle position. 
so that he is actually going to be the defensive tackle in a four-down lineman set like nickel, 4-2-5 four, four, or something like that. And then really outside of that, just put the best players. Uh, these guys really only see the field in goal line situations. I haven't found a ton of other abilities that I like. I really like quick jump and pocket disruptor. I think those are two really good abilities. At the right end position, this guy, ben, Bar Baron Sorrell, unfortunately, even though he's a good player, he doesn't have quick jump. So we're actually not going to play him in this defense. Uh, we're also not going to play Ethan Burke. Ethan Burke, if I, I was going to say this real quick, I would play him over Sorrell because, as you see, better speed, a little like one, one strength lighter. But look, he gets pocket disruptor and duress. So if you had to choose between these two, I would put him above him. And then at the right end position, what I like to do here is I like to use this guy, Akana, to, to silly Akana. As you can see, he gets the quick jump ability. He's 6'4", 82 speed. He does just fine for me. And my backup is going to be Uma Wazulu. And then the other backup that I would recommend if you wanted to really fill out this roster uh, would be Jabenda, David Jabenda, because he gets the quick jump ability as well. And he's an outside linebacker. So this way, if you ever go into like linebacker rush package or anything like that, you're still going to make sure that you always have everybody with quick jump, which is why this team is so powerful and so important. The left outside linebacker position, we're going to be starting uh, Darion Gallette. He's one of the best players on the team. He's got that quick jump. He's got grip breaker, really good player. His backup is going to be kind of the same thing here, but Jabenda and then Uma Wazelu, just so that we make sure that we have as many of these guys in our lineup as we can. At the starting middle linebacker position, this is going to be your user if you're in a big set. Oftentimes, I'm going to actually use a sub linebacker. We'll get to that in a minute. But if I was uh, using a middle linebacker in this defense, the player that I would use her on this team would be David Jabenda, and that's because he gets the quick jump ability. He has 86 speed. Um, I would rather Gillette be a blitzer. I think he's the best blitzer on the team. So that's kind of why we do that. And then really outside of that, there's nothing really more to talk through. Uh, McCulliver does get a knockout ability, so if you want to have him as the backup, you can do that. Right outside linebacker position, that's going to be Anthony Hill Jr., really good player on this team. And his backups are going to kind of be the same uh, that we were just talking about. We're going to have Imoizelu, and then we're going to have uh, Jabenda as kind of the backups. Corners, this is where things are going to get really glitchy and really cool with this defense. I've tested this a lot, and I've come to believe that the main ability that you – or the main, main attribute that you want on your defense is you want as much speed as possible in the secondary, and everybody in front of the secondary, you want to have as many quick jumps as possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Isaiah Bond, who is a wide receiver – and we're actually going to sub him in at the starting cornerback position. He's going to be able to do a lot of what we want him to do, simply just cover. Typically, I run like a base cover three show. So he's just essentially running backwards. He makes so many plays for me. I really like this guy as a corner. The second corner that we're going to be using in this defense is another just super fast guy. It's Xavier Filsame, really, really good player for this defense and what we're asking him to do in the scheme. The third corner, which is going to be your slot, is going to be Muhammad. He's probably the best overall corner. And what I like about putting him in the slot is he is a little slow for me, but slot corners don't normally need to have super good speed. That's also why his backup is going to be uh, Gavin Holmes, who does have the ball hawk ability. This is a really good ability. It's kind of like acrobat type, type stuff. So I like to have these guys on the field. At the free safety position, we have Andrew Makuba. We're going to keep him there. Reason he's really good at safety, he has a knockout ability, and he has ball hawk ability. So he's a super good player for the defense. And then our strong safety, um, Jade Barron, he has ball hawk, another really good player for this team. At the kick returner position, this is really important that you do not have Ryan Niblett as your kick returner. Who do you want as your kick returner? You want C.J. Baxter and Jackson Blue, or you want Isaiah uh, Bond? These three are the primary kick returning threats. The reason I use the running backs is because Isaiah Bond's already playing both ways and also because of the sidestep ability. I think the sidestep ability is really good. So we want to put these guys we want to put these guys at those positions to maximize kind of what they can bring to the table for us to, uh, for uh, for slot receiver, you do want to kind of peak this. Uh, but basically, you just want your best player. So Bolden is fine. He does a good job for me. 
Uh, if you want to put Ringo in there with that better speed, you can certainly do that. Kind of up to you how you want to do that. Rush left in. We like to basically do everything that I just showed you out of the main setup. We're going to do here. So we're going to go with Colin uh, Simmons. We're going to go with Umu Zelu. And then we're going to go with Jabenda. And the main reason is because of the quick jump ability. Same thing on the right side here. We're going to go with um, Akana, if I can find him, Akana. And then we're going to go with Umu Azelu, And then we're going to go with Jabenda. At defensive tackle, we're going to go with Trey Moore. We're going to go with Umu Azelu. And then we're going to go with, um, what's his name here? Not Sorrell, the other one, uh, Ethan Burke. Sub linebacker, kind of important for the defense. A couple different ways you could do this, a couple different strategies. kind of depends on your formation, but generally this is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably put here uh, Derek Williams and McDonald. But if I need these linebackers in blitzing threats, then I'm going to put my quick jump guys, which is going to be uh, Jabenda and Anthony Hill and Gillette. So you could do kind of either or there based off what your scheme needs. Slot cornerback, super important here. As you notice, this is our starting strong safety, so we need to change this. We want Muhammad. And then we want this guy, Holmes, as our two slot corners in the defense. And that is how you set up the Texas roster. You can use this blueprint to use kind of set up whatever team you want. But I wanted to kind of do a deep dive on this team because they're the best team in college football, 25. And this is how I would optimize their roster setup.